Hey guys, Philip Homiser here. I uh, just wanted to do a really, really quick tutorial since I only have about seven minutes. Um, this is a wedding I did, uh, and there's, I just went around doing some candid shots. And I wanted, I, I was just going through and editing this, and I wanted to go ahead and record this and just give it to you guys um, because because it's so dark. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I uh, correct this. And so here's the before, well, here's the after after I edit it so you guys can see before you uh, watch the whole tutorial and are disappointed <laughs> in the end. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in Lightroom and let's get started. So this is straight out of the camera. It's very dark and uh, I use my Sony A7 Mark II and my 85 millimeter uh, 1.4 lens I believe. Yeah it has to be. That was the only other lens I was using. So I'm going to start out. Uh, it's really dark. So I'm going to boost the exposure just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to correct the white balance. Now there's nothing, there's almost nothing white in this scene, but you can see you have the white of his eye right here. So I'm going to grab this pin drop tool and click over here in the white of his eye. Now that's corrected the white balance because the white balance was way off. I had it set to cloudy. I probably should have had it set to uh, luminance because I'm indoors. I always have it set to cloudy because I almost always shoot outdoors. I, I very rarely ever shoot indoors. So we can just kind of see what's going on here now. I want to crop it because uh, I want to get these legs out of here. So I'm going to hold shift uh, to keep my aspect ratio. If I forget to tell you guys what keys I'm pushing, uh, the hotkeys should pop up down here. So let's go ahead and hit enter. I'll line his eye up with that roll of thirds there. And I'm going to boot, jump the contrast up just a little bit. Um, just bring the highlights up a little. Shadow, we'll pull the shadows out a little bit. Bring the whites up just a little bit, pull the blacks down. Uh, set vibrance to 15 because I shoot in raw and uh, raw always comes out a little bit flat. So if you boost the vibrance a little bit, bring some of that color back in there. Now here's the here's uh, what makes a big difference. There's a lot of grain in there <clears throat> because it was so dark. And so uh, if you set the luminance to something like 40 you'll see how it just kind of it just kind of um, oh smooths out those uh, you know oh what's the word it, my brain's blank this morning all that grain you know so that's that's more like what we're, what we're looking for there uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over here into uh, the brush and I'm going to set exposure to negative one and shadows to 30 and saturation to negative 15 and I'm just going to paint this over the whole thing and what I'm doing with this I just want to create sort of a vignette and I also want to put this the um, focus on him and so setting that saturation down to negative 15 desaturates the rest of the image just a little bit and then I want to paint it off of his face so there's more color in his face and so that'll just draw your eyes also you know it's brighter you know the eyes um, uh, goes towards bright and colorful objects <laughs> parts of the scene and so we want the uh, we want that to be on him so now that's all I'm gonna do oh actually no I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna create a new brush uh, hit reset set the exposure to 0.4 Bring that brush down and just brighten up his face a little bit more. I don't, I didn't use my flash at all. I actually forgot I even had it. I had it with me and I never use flash. I'm, I've only used flash once. It was at a wedding. It was the first wedding I ever did and actually uh, worked out pretty good. Well, it had to because there was no light in the entire building or any windows. <laughs> So, uh, but this, there was big bay windows all around in this room. And so there was a lot of light coming in. I just, I had, um, you know, I was using my 85 indoors and, uh, yeah, it just still turned out pretty dark. So I'm going to go ahead and go jump into Photoshop and hopefully we'll go in there. Been having some problems with it. Just ignoring my commands. <laughs> Wait, we get to sip of coffee here. Come on. 
I have two minutes, so <laughs> this needs to this needs to work. Cause I gotta go to work here. Wow, what's going on here? Why is this taking so long? Let's try it again. I don't know why. Just for some reason, I have to uh, tell it more than once sometimes. There we go. Now it's working. Okay, I'm going to duplicate the background layer. I just have a button on my Wacom tablet that does that. Um, and I'm going to come in here, grab my um, patch healing brush tool. I'm going to get rid of these dark lines under his eyes. Whoa. This is my little nephew, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Let's drag that over there. Do the same thing on this side. Ooh. There we go. Try to fix that. And that's pretty good. Now I'm going to grab the sharpening tool. And since this is, uh, I mean, you can still see there's a lot of um, uh, distortion in here. Now if you grab that sharpening tool, you come in here and sharpen these highlights. It'll just look at, make it look more in focus. And I was trying to focus on his eyes. I always try to focus on the eyes. And so since you have a little reflection in the eyes, it can help uh, correct that make it look like it's actually more in focus by sharpening some of that. His little tooth here has some on it. I'll sharpen that as well. Oh, you know what? I don't think that did anything at all because you see this little tiny, I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh boy, time's up. <laughs> I'll finish this. This is, uh, this happens to me a lot. I was using the um, patch chilling brush tool and apparently I touched over here with my pen on accident. When you do that, it won't actually do anything. So unselect that. You could either do that or press Option D to deselect. So I'm going to go back over to my sharpening tool. Try that again. There we go. Now it's doing something. That's how you learn. <laughs> I, uh, I I was trying. I had like a full edit. I was like, it doesn't look like anything's happening. It's because nothing was happening. It was because of that. A lot of times you won't be able to see that. I've had to stop tutorials before because of that. It's like, what is going on here? Okay. Uh, I want to brighten his eyes a little bit, so I'm going to create a curve layer. I'm going to grab that in the center here, pull up. You know, I'm going to grab my mouse. It's hard to do that with a pen sometimes. And invert that mask. And you can just... Oh, make sure you have your brush tool selected. <laughs> Again, nothing's happening. <laughs> and just paint that on, just to brighten his eyes a little bit. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger and just kind of get around his eyes a little bit. Just brighten those up. You don't want darkness around their eyes at all. And there we go. And so I'll go back over to my Lightroom edit. So you can kind of see where we started from here. So we just went from that to this. We have a, very, a few very basic things. And uh, it's just amazing the uh, detail you can pull out of uh, some raw photos, dark blood. You know, a lot of people probably would have just deleted this. Like, God, there's nothing to work with here. At least that's what I would used to do. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial helps you guys out. I just wanted to just give something away. I haven't done that in a long time, and I had noticed my... YouTube uh, channel has been dormant for a while, so I thought I'd just give this one to you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I got to go to work. And uh, yeah, just leave, uh, if you get any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.